What's up, YouTube? It's your mom, Iman. <laughs> I think I was about to say it's your girl, Iman, and I said Iman. That's cute. Maybe I should call myself Iman. Anyway, it's Iman. Um, just coming in with a quick week 11. I want to say week 12. Week 11 VSG update. Um, I had my surgery November 3rd, 2014. Um, 11 weeks ago today. Um, today is Monday, January 19th. Happy Martin Luther King Day, everyone. Um, surgery weight was 252, and my current weight is 228, I guess, um, which is the same weight I was last week. Sucks. Um, stepped on the scale yesterday was 227, stepped on the scale today is 228. Really, really sucks. Um, basically, no loss. Uh, I mainly contributed to my cycle. Uh, this week, for three and a half days, I basically did my, um, well, for three days. I basically did my pre-op diet. Um, two protein drinks a day, and a sensible meal, and a sensible snack. However... I, BSG wise, I didn't have a great week. I'm upset with myself um, about it. And this week is just going to be better. Um, I had chips about three times this week. Um, so that's no good. And uh, I had Moscato about three times this week. I only had a serving, and it really, a serving is really not that bad, but I feel like between the chips and Moscato, um, I was uh, doing too much with the carbs. So, this week I'm gonna do my pre-op diet again, because I've gotta break the snacking habit, um, especially the junk snacks. I need, I need real healthy snacks, fruit, or vegetables for a snack um, and I'm gonna cut the Moscato this week I don't have much to report I should have took some notes or something um, I just feel blah I did not have the worst week you know I did not binge eat I did not um, eat fast food or any of that stuff and it, it's kind of disappointing to not lose. And I know I was on a cycle, so I'm, I'm sure if I, if it wasn't for my cycle, I probably would have lost weight. And I actually, to be totally honest, this is the first time I've never gained weight during my cycle. Like, I always gain weight. So ever since I had BSG, I think last month I might not have gained weight. I think I did. I think I did gain a pound. Um... So, I mean, I guess that is a non-scale victory, the fact that I didn't gain. And then also, um, like I said, yesterday I was down a pound, and today I'm up a pound. Um, and I guess I could possibly say that I had a take, well, I had uh, restaurant food, and I what I had, I had chilies, and I had their, uh, a half of their avocado turkey burger, which was turkey breast meat. Um, and, and broccoli, but I'm wondering how much sodium was in my food, um, because I know, I actually had two, I had two, um, I ate out twice yesterday, um, for lunch I had a slice of star pizza, and I did not eat the bread, I only ate the topping, I had chicken pizza, so I only ate the top of it. Um, and I had a uh, spinach. I ate about a fourth a cup of spinach. That was lunch. Um, so I'm sure that was probably a lot of sodium in my star pizza. And then for dinner, I had the half of uh, avocado burger and uh, broccoli. And again, you know, as far as I, I put everything in my fitness pal, I was on track yesterday. Protein-wise, um, carb-wise, 
since I didn't eat the bread for the pizza. And I did not eat, oh, when I, the turkey burger was bunless. It was just the patty, the patty with um, the guacamole um, sauce and um, uh, jalapenos and onions, you know, um, and broccoli. So that's what I ate yesterday. And I know my sister, I don't know, I, you guys, if you've seen my other videos, you know, I have a sister who lost um, 140 pounds, 146 pounds on Weight Watchers um, uh, about four years ago, and she's still keeping it off. She's, she's in the 150s now. I think that's where her body is most comfortable, but she wants to be smaller, so... Um, you know, she's working on getting back into the 140s. Um, but she's been keeping it off um, and staying within 10 pounds of her ideal weight for the past four years. Um, anyway. Um, <laughs> I told... Oh, okay. So, one thing that my sister... Um, I always noticed was whenever she ate out at a restaurant for a weigh-in, her weight would be up. And it could be the hel a healthy meal, but her weight would be up. And so she attributed it to the extra sodium that is usually in um, chain restaurant food. Um, and, you know, it could be in, you know, you know, it depends on what kind of ingredients the restaurants use, obviously. Um, so I wonder, because I know I was down, like for like, like the past two or three days I was down and you guys know I don't have a BM very regularly. So that could be, that could be an issue. And it also could be the, um, takeout. Cause I'm really disappointed that my weight was up today and I know I did not go crazy. And I also ran yesterday. I've actually started a uh, training for a 5k. Um, so I did a mile and a half yesterday. I ran a mile, I jogged a mile, um, 20 minutes nonstop. Like, I mean, it didn't take me 20 minutes to do a mile, <laughs> but I was on a mile and a half. And during the mile and a half, it took me a little bit less than 30 minutes to complete a mile and a half. But 20 minutes of my workout, I jogged nonstop. So, and then, oh, I say I think I'm gonna tag my sister in this in this video. Um, my sister ran a marathon, the one well, half marathon. She ran in a Houston uh, Chevron um, marathon yesterday, you um, know, the half marathon. Uh, and so I went downtown. I walked almost two miles downtown. Um, got in over ten thousand steps between that and my dog, and I think I ate. Like, I logged everything that I ate, you know, and so I stayed under 1,100 calories yesterday. Um, so, I don't know. I don't know why I'm up a pound, but I am up a pound today. Um, it sucks. It sucks. So if I made my video yesterday, I would be telling you guys I lost a pound. And then maybe tomorrow I'll get up and be down two or three pounds. Anyway, I always gain weight in the past during my cycle and I mean when I say gain a minimum of two pounds it could be five and I um you know so for me to like be able to stay the same or lose like half a pound or a pound I don't know what my body's doing this week I need to you know be proud of that and not beat myself up too bad but this week I'm gonna do my pre-op diet again I'm doing my pre-op diet again one meal two protein shakes um and a healthy snack um is what I'll be having this week and um I'm all over the place I should have I should have written notes I'm without trying to keep this video from being too long I am training for a half marathon <laughs> okay since I said it I'm training for a half marathon but <laughs> right now <laughs> I'm getting ready now preparing for 5K. And then, um, I forget the name of the half marathon, but there is a half marathon coming up in Houston. 
in October, I think. My sister wants to run it, so I want to run it with her. Um, so I'm, I've added that. I am on Runkeeper, my fitness pal. If anybody wants to connect with me, see how my training is going. And uh, there is a Color in Motion 5K on February 21st that I will be um, uh, jogging in. Um, so that's what I'm preparing for now. And I am, I joined it a long time ago, but when I lived in another area, I couldn't, there was, I just didn't have, I didn't find a group to meet up with, but I joined Black Girls Run. And so I'm trying to find a group near me, which I actually found a group near me, but they run before I can get home from work. So I'm going to try to find a group I can connect with um, at least one day a week to help me. Because um, it helped my sister. She joined Black Girls Run. Um, over, she joined Black Girls Run, I think, in 2013. And meeting up with people after work has really helped her to stay in her run. Um, so, yeah, I think that's it. Oh, I didn't do a body shop, so let me back up. So you can see me. I don't know how much you can see. I might need to tilt the camera down. This dress, I'm happy to say, is a size 14. Yeah, I don't want this video to be too long. I don't have much else to talk about. But I wanted to get on here and update you every week. So, see you next week, YouTube.